Well, I think I warned you guys that I'll probably try and get into a little bit more fixed blade budget knife fixed blade stuff. And so this qualifies. There's the Kubi. All right, let's take the edge off of things. Hey, come here, over here. Well, let's see if it'll cut anything. Okay. Yes, it will, by the way. Okay, well, we got that one established. Just wanted to make sure. This I got off the Kubi side, and it's the Wolf E-CQC fixed blade, and it's got a Kydex, and it's 2.76, uh, blah, 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 length D2 stone wash. Yes, it is. And this will kind of give you the overall stuff. Seven inches overall, uh, four millimeter, yeah. And that's the Kubi KU320B4130, but I have a discount code, so get, you know, 10% off. 4130 minus $4 is going to get you in the $30 range for this little honey. And so, wow, this is, oh, by the way, Wolf Close Combat. Close combat, oh my God. So this is maybe a bit of a tactical knife, possibly. And it, you know, comes in, you know, stuffed in, in here and all kinds of plastic stuff because Kubi gives you a microfiber cloth. Whoosh. I mean, we're talking what, in the 30 something dollar range now? Okay, hold on. So, and then, you know, I'm just thinking, yeah, this is EDCable, right? Because there you go, run your belt through, cross draw, however you want to do that, right? So you could just, and be ready to go right there. So, yes. Um, and they did say it was four millimeter. Let's find out. Wow, 3.9, that's too bad they'd misrepresent like that. Just kidding. 0.15, so basically a four millimeter blade stuck, almost six tenths of an inch, 0.57 at 14.4. Is it really seven inches overall? Is it really two point, well it is. It's, uh, what is that, two and three eighths, okay? Cutting edge at 60 millimeters. All right, and then up here, yeah, Two and three quarter inch blade length. Yeah, basically seven inches over it all at about 18 centimeter. And so you've got some impact here that you can use if you want to. And then, of course, different uh, carry options as well with this. And then they throw this in. So go figure. Check it out. So now you got a tech lock attachment, so you can do a lot of different things, like amount it to this, that, or the other pack or whatever. Uh, but this gives you more mounting options. I kind of like it just like this myself. No rattle, no looseness there. Yeah, kicks right off. Uh, it's really grippy. This is a black G10 here, by the way. So, I mean, how much does it weigh? Does it matter? It's not going to be much, is it? Hold on. Ounces. 3.46 ounces at uh, unit, unit. 98, 98 grams. So, pretty lightweight. Um very yeah it's comfortable in the hand the ergos are good uh get my hands on it like this so then you could put you know a lot of pressure on here i mean because you got it you got it locked onto your hand and yeah i mean it is comfortable in the hand for sure tanto pretty stout little blade there pretty comfortable that way as well so you get some gear here uh and it comes in this box all right, so yeah, not bad. Well, you know what? Let's see what this is all about. If we can, if I can loosen this, I might be uh, moving both sides of that. 
Now this one's coming loose. Okay, let me see. Oh, that one fell out. Okay, let me see about this right here. Ah, yeah, that's coming on its own. Of course, one on one side, one on the other. How lucky can we get? Now let's see if any of this will pull out. Okay, let me see if this one will loosen up as well. We could just take one side off. Okay, let's just do this. Okay. All right. So we did we did it kind of half-assed, but there it is. So you kind of get the point here. You could pull all this off if you wanted to. You could cord wrap it, couldn't you? That might be kind of nice. I mean, although this adds some dimension here, doesn't it? And some thickness to fill the hand and everything for grip purposes. On the other hand, you know, a cord wrap is really nice and maybe keeps it a little thinner, more stealth, etc. So, and you can run it back on out for a lanyard purpose as well if you want when you wrap it. But so you can do it however you want, but it's just one solid piece of D2. And flip it around the other way. Let's go back like this. So, and not, not difficult, just the fact that we had a screw come out of each side. Other than that, not a problem. And let's see if we can uh, try and cut part of my hand off by uh, flipping this blade around while we're doing this. Could have put it in the sheath while I was doing that, but nah. That wouldn't have been any fun. So what do you think? We've got the uh, Wolf Close Combat design and it's by Kubi. It's got a nice little thumb ramp with jimping here. Uh, good ergos, lightweight, very EDCable, different carry options. Uh, so it may be something that you would like because I'm always looking for the cross draw stuff, right? I'm always looking for the stuff that you can right, have right up along your belt line. So it's really not noticeable, yet it's a full fixed blade, you know? So this might be, uh, this might be a thinker, especially in this price range. D2 steel, uh, very, you know, uh, well, it's black, so it's not reflective or anything. Interesting. Definitely interesting. From Kubi, collaborative design. I'm going to let you go. Yes, we do love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.